What's up? In this video, we will be learning about how we can install Kali Linux tools in any Linux distro. Like now I'm using Ubuntu, I can install Kali Linux tools in this also. And any other Linux distro, there are a ton of them. Like CentOS, Fedora, anything you name it. Okay, so for that, we'll need a bunch of things. We'll see that, that in a bit. So let's get started so what we need now is so how we can do this there is a script called katulin it is an open source project by lionsec so we will be cloning that and for that we will need git installed in our linux distro so first we will check if we have git or not So let's see if we have git, which git, so, okay. so yes, we have git. If you don't have git, you can use the command sudo apt git install git. If you do, if you are using Ubuntu Linux, okay. So that is that. Now let's see what we have to do next. So head over to your web browser Mozilla Firefox in this Ubuntu. So head over to your web browser that will be Mozilla Firefox in if you are using Ubuntu Linux for that. Now you can either search Katulin that is K-A-T-L-O-O-I-N Katulin sorry O-O-L-I-N Katulin in Google or we can just head over to github because it is a repository by lionsec on github we can search it there it will be much easier so here we will search katulin you need not to sign into github for this because we are just downloading cloning the repository so we are not doing any changes just search katulin Now when the search is over, you will see the first repository that is Linesec Katulin that is in Python and it was updated on February 18, 2008. So February 18, 2020. Or so maybe it was 2018. Uh, we will figure that out. Need not to worry about that. So let's click on it. Now here you are you have been asked to sign up so let's just miss that you don't need to sign in so here it is the repository so we need either we can download it and use it or we can clone it we will be cloning because in case it gets updated we don't have to download it again we can just pull any changes happen on this repository so we will be doing the cloning stuff just copy the copy this URL so we'll copy it and that everything from the web browser is done what we'll be doing is from the terminal itself we have copied the link that we'll be cloning so open up your terminal use the command kit clone and paste the URL so we'll paste it and press enter now wait for till it gets cloned so what is it is the cartoon is exactly it is just a script written in python by lionsec and what it does is add the repositories of the kali linux distro to your linux distro that you are using in my case i am using ubuntu so it will add the kali linux repositories to my ubuntu repositories so from that i can install the packages that are available only for kyle linux we will see that now we have cloned this in our home repository so let's check ls quickly so here you can see a folder name katulin we'll go inside it katulin 
we are inside it now as you can do ls you will see there is change log txt there is a directory name core the katolin.py license and db so what we will be doing is running this katolin.py but but before running it it is a script so we have to make it executable so how we can do that we can do that by using a command that is chmod that is change the mode of this file to executable that is plus x x stand for executable so plus x now the name of katolin oh sorry the file that is katolin.py now when you press enter it is done it is executable now you can see it is highlighted by green color so that means it is executable now we'll execute this for executing now if you execute it without using the sudo prefix sudo command so it will give an error so let's do it now it will kindly say yes sorry the script requires sudo privileges so for that we will use sudo so here it's a, a new trick so whenever you use a command like this we are using here dot or slash katolin.py and it requires a sudo privilege for that we are using sudo exclamatory mark twice that means again run the previous command with sudo privileges so that's what the double exclamatory mark means sorry for this weird cut i had some technical issue so that is all sorted out now we'll do we do the sudo double exclamatory mark press enter now enter your password whatever the password is now here we have this is what the cartoon menu looks like so we have add current repositories and update view categories install classic menu indicator and all that stuff so we'll just see whatever the categories are so we have here what we have information gathering vulnerability analysis wireless attacks web interface and web application sorry and a whole bunch of stuff that is all for hacking tools and pen testing pen, pen testing tools and other cyber security stuff so tools that are required in reverse engineering things password access and all so for going back we'll just write back before installing these just hop into these and install start installing the tools we first have to add the kali repositories so when we have the kali repository installed in added to our source list then only we can install the tools so for that we'll select first option so before start before adding the kali linux repositories we will first have to remove all the Linux repository if you have installed in the past. So to play safe, we'll do that. So all the current repositories, if they have been deleted. Now you will add the current repositories. So press one for that. Then after when you press one, add the press two for that. Now it will kind of take much time for that so we'll just skip it now let me show you how you will install the tools so for that go back to the main menu now go to the view categories now, suppose we have to um, let's see what we have here web application let's see what we have in web application so do we have something let's go back so wireless attack maintaining access sniffing and spoofing let's check this out so here we have whole bunch of stuff that is burp suite so if you want to do the bug bounty and stuff so it is a very good good practice doing bug bounty if you are a bug bounty like it's a very good thing if you haven't just look up look it up it's very good if you 
are good at bug, bug bounding it pays a lot there are many platforms like uh, hacker one bug crowd so there's a whole bunch of platforms where you can submit your bugs and they pay a lot like it is good stuff so for that burp set is a software that you use for pen testing and other stuff so if you want to install just press the option of that tool so for burp set will end one and it will start installing it right away if you have the repositories added and updated for in my case i haven't done so it will kind of give me an error if we see let's see it will say package was not found let's see so yes unable to locate the package box so that what is it it is so let's go back now back again does exit work in here no so if you want to exit just control c it will shut down the request and goodbye so that was all hope you like the video so if you like the video press the like button if you haven't subscribed the channel yet smgens subscribe it and press the bell icon for more notifications and to get more of these videos like hack and stuff keep liking us subscribe and share this video bye for now thank you for watching